guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video, I'm going to be doing the baby predictions of if it's a boy or girl. And I did this last year on my channel. If you haven't seen that, you can go ahead and look at that. I'm also gonna link it here so you can watch that. Last year, that was the first time actually doing it and it was actually fun. So I'm doing the same thing, but I'm changing it up in different ways. So it's not the exact same way, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So these are just old wives tales, they're all for fun, they're not um, uh, to be taken serious, it's just something to do just to see, predict if it's a boy or a girl. We are having our gender reveal this weekend, so you'll see that video coming up shortly as well. And um, we don't know what it is yet either, if, it, if the baby is a boy or a girl. We're hoping for a girl, especially the way these symptoms are versus my first one is completely different, but these are just old wives tales. So the first one we're doing is um, baby and she checked to make sure everything was okay. The baby heart rate was 145. So they say if the heart rate is below 140, it's a boy. And if it's above 140, it's a girl. So since it was 145, it was above, so one point for the girl. I'm gonna leave it down here so you can see the point system for the boy and the girl, and then we'll go from there. Now this one is the second one. This one is the baking soda with pee. So I've done this one. If you don't like this, you can go ahead and skip forward if it's too much. But I'm gonna be peeing in a clear cup, disposable, so I can throw it away after. And then you mix a little bit of baking soda in it to see how it reacts. So I'm gonna show you that as well on camera and then in a point of view. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a cup and then I'm gonna sprinkle some baking soda in there. If we, if it reacts, bubbles, and you know, like kind of like an explosion, like a scientist type thing, it's boy, and if it does nothing, and just lays flat, it's a girl. Okay, so I got the, my pee in here, baking soda, I have a spoon, and I'm going to drop a little bit of it in there, just to see how it reacts. If it does react, like I said, if it's just constant bubbles, like bubbles on top, it's a boy. After five minutes, if it just settles, it's a girl. Okay, so if you the cup and I put it in this cup, it's not leaking. You can still see a little bit of foam through there, but if it gets really bubbly, and it's like kind of like foamy, it just stays foamy and all that stuff, then it's a boy. And if it just goes flat like this, it's a girl, so. Proof. But, if you don't want to see it, it's the Chinese calendar. I forgot to send you this too. So the Chinese calendar is based on the age of conception and then the month of conception. So I was 30 years old this year of the conception and I conceived in August. So I'm going to put the chart here so you can see it. So the fourth old wife sale that I have is headaches. So if you've experienced headaches, and anything like that, they say it's a boy. And then that will determine the gender if it's a boy or a girl. So I'm gonna also put that here so you can see. We're looking at the Mayan calendar, the age of conception would be 30, and that is a even number. That would be even, and then month at conception would be August, and that would be the eighth month of the year, so that's even as well. 
even even, which means it's a girl. So then there's a point for the girl. The next one is weight gain, face changes, or the pregnancy glow. So it's kind of hard to determine that because based on off of me, when it comes to weight gain, I haven't gained any weight. It seems like I'm fluctuating between gaining two pounds and losing two pounds or so. So the weight, I guess you could say that's because I haven't gained weight or I haven't really used it dramatically. When I came from my first pregnancy, I did lose a lot of weight. I remember that. I think it was because of eating healthier. The only thing is it seems like I'm getting more acne and it seems to be more on the cheek or on the chin and it considered a pregnancy glow I don't think I've gotten a pregnancy glow so that determines either it's a boy or girl so let's see if you have glowing skin it's a boy if you don't it's a girl so I guess since I don't have any clear skin or it's not really glowy or um, clear that would be uh, a point for the Sweet or salty foods would be the next one. So sweet and salty foods, it's really hard to determine. So when it came to when it came to salty and sweet, it was more salty than sweet. When I ate sweet, I really got a stomach ache from that. I don't know why. Um, with this one, I haven't. So I'm actually eating both sweet and salty, but I haven't uh, leaned toward one or the other. So this one, since I guess I'm gonna, for this one, I'm gonna consider it a point for the girl since I'm actually eating both. Because the first one, like I said, I didn't eat any sweets, just nothing but salty foods, which was, was a boy then. But this one, we're gonna count it as a girl for the point. So this one is, oh, a side sleeper. So when it comes to being a side sleeper, they say if you sleep, say I can't remember but when I I know when I lay down I sleep on my left and when I wake up I'm usually on my left but I do like sleeping comfortably on each side so sleep on your left side they say it's a boy if you sleep on your right it's a girl so this will be a point for the boy since I am left okay so then we got Two more left, I have the ring test. So you get your ring or any type of ring that you do have and you use your strand of hair or a string, you will balance it over your belly and it will determine if it's a boy or girl. Okay, it's rocking back and forth, so that's considered a boy. We are going to ask my lovely assistant to put a spoon and a fork under a pillow while he mixes that up. I'm going to go ahead and sit on one. They say it determines what it is. If you sit on the spoon, it's a girl. If you sit on a fork, it's a boy. Okay, here we go. Spoon, fork, under the pillows. Let's get it. on this one so let's see <laughs> it's just food and so spoon means girl so there's a point for the girl oh, okay this is so much fun i love it again this is just fun tales that you just play with but i appreciate you guys watching thank you so much let me know what you think in the comments if it's a boy or a girl in my gut feeling i think it's a girl and same with my husband's gut feeling we think it's a girl not only that we want another a girl because we have a boy but it's okay whatever we have god bless us with another child and i'm so thankful for that so if it's a boy it's a boy it's a girl it's a girl thank you for watching i appreciate you and i'll see you guys in the next one bye